All right, now we'll demonstrate another kind of activity. As always, I have turn editing on, and we've covered assignments and forums. And let's go ahead and look at uh, the chat. Now, compared to modern technologies, the chat in Moodle is actually quite primitive. And um, really, if you have the option of using something more elegant, the students will would much rather do it on Facebook or something like that. But it has its purposes because the chat here is logged, and you can go back and record it. And you may wish to even create a chat that is on all the time, so students late at night can just go back and forth with each other and you can read that log. Or you could set a specific time, like Wednesday nights, where you want people to get on and just say hey or connect with you. Um, it base, it's based on the web page kind of refreshing periodically, so it does put a load on the server, so you don't want a bunch of people in there unnecessarily. But otherwise it has its places. So name of the chat room, I'll just call that weekly. Wednesday, uh, Wednesday night chat. And those OCD people of you, like me, will go nuts about whether or not you should capitalize, not capitalize the names of, of activities. And then put come here weekly during the semester between 7 and 8.30 p.m. and talk about the week's work. And we can put the next chat time or don't publish any chat time so we could have a repeat at the same time every day at the same time. So let's do the same time every week. And I would need to look in my calendar and figure out that uh, at the moment, you know, the 17th. So you can look that up and pick the day you want. Obviously, if it's Wednesday night, you should pick a Wednesday night. Um, do you want to save past sessions or delete them after a certain amount of time? Say probably in a semester, 180 days is is probably more than safe. Keep things from getting bogged down. Um, do you want everyone to be able to view the past sessions? I'd say, yeah, why not? I'm not hiding anything. Uh, alternatively, if it was something where you were there and you wanted to give them credit for being there and you gave them a keyword or something like that, you could hide it so others could not review that. You snooze, you lose kind of thing. And these other options we've seen before are the same for everything else. So we'll save and display. And it looks very much like that. And all the student has to do is click to enter. And you get this sort of pop-up window where you can start typing and say, hey, hey, hey. And it shows that I've entered. And you can actually beep, and it makes a beep sound. And you see there's a slight delay. Um, so with the more people here, you'd see these names. And uh, you'd see the different names here. And this is where it's nice if they have a picture. And you go back and forth. The DI has just beeped you. The auto scroll is a new feature. It'll keep moving down so you don't have to keep scrolling. So that's the chat. I'll leave it. Go back to the main page. And this is how the chat looks. It's got this little uh, text bubble, almost like in a cartoon. And we'll turn editing off. And just like all the others, it has a, a pretty clean look once we've turned editing off. And it's a clickable link.